Masters. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1 927 6648. Now, Basil Chapman. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this uh, Monday, the 16th of September, <clears throat> mid month. And we're looking at quite an exciting time. Why? Because just at the moment, because I'm anticipating some kind of a topping action coming in this week, but we'll discuss it as I move through the show. I just wanted to keep this here on the dollar. I did this in the, in the market update for the 10 o'clock news. Um, well, we've got 100.63 down 48. This is the pattern that I talk about, that dreaded H pattern. Uh, I wasn't going to do that, but I will. Let me go to the chart itself, just because this is what I talk about. I've had webinars on this. It's just a really important pattern. And it's going to happen quite a, in quite a few places this week, so I may as well just get to it right now. Um, in, the, in the meantime, what, what we are looking at is that the dollar has been showing weakness for a little while. So there are three core patterns. I have tons and tons of patterns, but three core patterns that I look at. Straight line up or down, that's one. Cup formation, that's two. Arch formation, that's three. Or a mix of one and two or one and three. The dreaded H pattern, I, may, I put it in red because if it takes out the left side low after failing at a peak A or a B, that often can, either it's going to be fabulous because it holds that and then it starts to move and eventually it closes above the arch high and that becomes a, a cup formation, a very powerful cup formation. We've got that in a number of charts. But right now what we're looking at is that this arch formation fading at a peak A, and it's also the pattern that I call the lowercase m. When the arch goes to a second arch and it, and it hasn't yet taken out the left side low, you've got to watch that really closely. So this pattern right here says if there is a close in the Dow, uh, in the a dollar, so at 100.65 right now, if it closes, I would say under 100.30, I'm going to make it 100. If it closes at 100, that is going to be very difficult for the dollar to get back and start to close into the 102 level. If, in fact, this week it holds this left side low right here, it can go under it, but it closes above it, and that's 100.51. That was the low of the 27th of August in this particular pattern. It says, great, now I can have a rally towards the upper band, not taking out, not necessarily, might or might not, but it might not take out 101.92, but it does say that it's starting to show some bounce strength, right? Otherwise, this is just pure weakness. Look at the 9 period moving average. Even with the bounces, couldn't go positive. This is negative. And look at the uh, uh, weekly chart. Look at that. And I, I should talk about this since we've been long since 2018 at 90 in the uh, UUP, which, uh, uh, sorry, uh, uh, in the 23s, but it was the dollar was at 90.07. Um, and we survived all the runs to the upside. We've taken little bits off. We just kind of kept a call for a couple of reasons. I don't want to go into them right now. But most importantly, what we're looking at here is that the dollar – if it holds, and I'm going to go to the gold because they kind of go together. They don't. They used to go very much in in counterpoint. When the one went up, the other went down. Um, ha haven't done that for a long time. In fact, they've gone in the same direction. They've gone uh, at different levels of uh, degree of angles. But look at this. This is the dollar. The gold is at leg C. I'm anticipating it pulls back. Then it goes to a leg D. That'll continue the leg D in the weekly chart. That'll continue the leg C in the monthly chart, which means that it should still, in the Chapman Wave methodology, it should still go to a leg D in the monthly chart in 2024. But it's saying, you know, we might be getting to some kind of a little topish, a short term, uh, let's call it a relief, a digestive phase in the gold. And therefore, <clears throat> what you need to be looking at is um, what are the corresponding links? So we've got that. We've also got the TLT. The TLT is trading up. It did make a PD when the Chapman Wave buy signal to buy mode it obligates the, the price that you're following to go to at least a D, the fourth highest peak. Well, it did that once at 99.94 back in early August. I think it was about the 1st of August or, or the last day of July. 
and then a pull back, and then it had the rectangle pattern. And now it's gone quite a few times, about six times. It's gone above the 99.94 level, but it's made a peak D. So it's getting a little bit tired, and therefore yields at some point, <clears throat> even though there's a Fed talk coming up on, was it Wednesday or Thursday this week, I'm watching this very closely because the monthly chart is starting to improve, but the nine-period moving average has, is still far away from going positive. The stochastic's only at 55, so there's a lot of work to be done in the bonds to go higher so yields can come down. And at the same time, you've got a leg D in the weekly chart with very good technicals. So it says that the TL, that the uh, trajectory, the tide for bonds is going higher. The tide for the yields, their TBT, look, making lower lows, is going lower. And until that changes, for a whole week, I'd even say for two weeks to change the uh, trajectory to going back down in, in the TLT and higher in the TBT. This is what we've got to deal with. All right. So I've got that. And the other thing that I wanted to do here is just to run these through very quickly. Look, so this is the pattern that I was showing subscribers to my opening call for on my Friday one hour um, video for my overview, looking back and looking ahead and telling uh, subscribers just exactly where we are in our different positions. What we're looking at here is <clears throat> if the Dow, so this is in gray. Chapman Wave, one of my least favorite patterns. Why is it one of my least favorite patterns? Because when the cup and handle pattern formulates and starts to break out, all that happens is very often it goes a little higher but then it comes back and goes into the handle. So let me just show you this. I did this a little earlier. I'll do it again. I made it nice and big for my uh, the lines, big, thick blue line to show the cup and the handle. And we've gone to a higher high. Now, in the Chapman Wave methodology, this should be Friday, but it's not. It's today, Monday, because Friday I do technical. I, I okay, do more, a th more thorough examination of the Chapman Wave methodology. What I said to subscribers is that if this candle goes higher than 41,585, that is the candle today or tomorrow. I didn't know when. I thought it would be today, but we'll see. Uh, I, I said, well, it went today, and the Dow has gone to a new all-time high of 41,733.97 as a high. Now, that doesn't become an A, a blue A. Look, the stochastic's still under 80% to 69 the on balance volume is really good, but a little bit overboard. The MACD only now is cross positive. Usually that's a really good sign if we can hold that. And the relative strength, this gray line in the daily chart, is very strong. The nine period moving average has been, I've done this so many times, I've discussed it, and I'm going to do this right now because this is the beginning of the week. We're in no rush. We're expecting new highs in the Dow. Well, we have our long positions, we have no short positions. I'm getting close to possibly starting some short positions, but not yet. So let me show you this chart right here. This is the daily chart of the Dow, and all I have are three lines. The gray line, thick gray line, is the current price of the Dow. The green line is the nine period moving average, which goes green when it goes above the black 14 period exponential moving average. Well, when it pulls back sharply like that, when it pulls back sharply like that, when it pulls back sharply sharply like that. If it doesn't turn pink, that's a really strong, it's like, it's like an elastic band. You pull it and then whoosh, like a spring, a loaded spring, and it goes to the upside, and that's exactly what this is about. Like the M-shaped pattern. Yeah, but yeah, it's good. Make a double pop. I'll be back in a moment. Dows of 214. S&P's only have 4.76. I'll be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. 
former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member. Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets, with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. The Gold Report As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. So let me just show you this pattern. I'm just going to break away for a moment because it's, it's, it's live, it's current, it's detectable. You want to be looking at your day trader. Look, I had a buy signal right here in the E-mini in the one-minute chart. This is the Z contract, the December contract. So it went to peak A, peak B, and then it started this move up here with a really nice, the technicals were improving, and then you got the 9 period moving average crossing positive. Well, there was a parallel high in the E-mini, which trades in 25 cent increments. So I, I, I sort of thought to myself, okay, that's going to be like, that could be a phantom C, because if it traded in pennies, that's one thing, but it's in quarter, uh, quarter point moves. So... I said, okay, but my rule of thumb is if it does it twice, then you have no choice in the, this is the futures, to count the next one as a phantom peak. And I usually change the color. Well, I did. That took me to this D right here. Otherwise, I'd be at C and I'd be waiting and waiting for a D. That's a technique. <laughs> Cost me a fortune to, to, to discover. But I, I eventually integrated it to my work. So that's the a legitimate phantom peak scene. It took us to a D. And now I can put a down arrow. Even though it really is a C, it's a phantom D because I used that peak right there. And look what it did. It got, it got me out early and it tumbled down to the 200 period moving average. And now it's trying to rally again. And it's creating an, a, an arch formation with a second arch. Is that going to be an M shaped pattern or is it going to sudden? Well, it's walking the nine period moving average. I, and these are single leg A to the upside. They can fail. We saw that I think on Friday with one of those. Anyway, I just wanted to show you a technique. Now, <clears throat> there's another technique. I'm coming back to everything, but I thought I'd better get to this because it's Jason over in London. Um, every once in a while, he, he gives me a, 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 a sends a message over, and he's looking at. So, hi, Basil. Can you look at Rocket Lab on the show for a long? This was on Friday um, after 1.17 a.m. Oh, I should have seen it. That was on the 13th. Sorry, Jason, I didn't see it until over the weekend. Um, I, I have a long peak C on the daily, 
Correct. There's your peak C. And he sent it to me before that big candle. And the nine has gone positive on the monthly. Correct. And uh, then he goes on. From a pure observation standpoint, <clears throat> it seems SpaceX and Rocket Lab are the only ones who can reliably get their rockets, <laughs> their rockets into a sense so funny, into orbit. Boeing is constantly having problems. Astra was delisted. And now I'm reading relativity space might be in trouble. Rel relativity space. I guess that's another one. <clears throat> might be in trouble. That's Jason. So, Jason, I did a little work on this over the weekend. I, we've seen this. We saw this in gold. Let me show you this pattern right here. I, I love patterns that repeat. Look. Yeah, look at gold. Gold goes peak E back in uh, July, pulls back. It did the, it did this cup formation, did a beautiful cup formation, and then it goes to a pullback and it starts to brand new peak A, pulls back quite sharp. It takes a long time in the daily chart before it finally makes a leg B and then a peak B. And then it takes a long time. It took until Thursday to break out. So you see it can do that. And that, to me, always says that this is a very determined symbol that you're following because it takes its time to build strength, takes out all the weak links, and only the strong survive in this particular pattern. And lo and behold, you've got your C. So Rocket Lab, RKLB, I believe is the symbol. Oh, very good. Made a, a trough back in early August, goes to peak A, then a B, and then it, it goes immediately sharp move up to a C. And then it takes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, about 19 days, 19 trading sessions to get to this leg D. Now what happens is, is this going to be another one of those pullbacks? And if it is another one of those pullbacks, let's look at the you know, month, the weekly chart to see, is it possible that this is a, not just a leg E, um, and actually an instant restart, even though it's huge. Look at, the, look at the size of this thing. Is this an E or is it a brand new A? So what I do is I put E slash A and then I can make a decision. And I do the circle. I always do this because it says within three bars, not only you, get, you go above uh, leg D, which became a peak D, you start a new move up. And all the technicals remain extremely positive, and it's way above the 200 period moving average. And now look at the uh, look at the monthly chart. This is a stock. Uh, it's had much higher highs, and it came tumbling down, and it's been stuck between about three and seven forever, just for uh, two years. <clears throat> now it's attempting to go to the upside. So, Jason, I know that you like to look at the big picture. But you do like to have, you know, like to know where your stops are. Can I make a suggestion? And the suggestion is I want you to just open this weekly chart up to tell you why I'm looking at this favorably. Um, if I did, I don't want to do this now. I did it in the monthly chart. If I did a measured move in this sort of cup formation left side with a measured move in the bowl cup formation on the right side, you can see that the MACD is building strength. It's done that before. And it's. It's the stochastic in the weekly chart is at 74%, not 80%. Before it went to 80 and over 80, and then it tumbled back in August of last year <clears throat> with a price. This one says to me, unlike the pattern at the top before it was touching the 200 period moving average, this one's making the 200 period moving average of 6.52, and we are a point higher, less than a point higher uh, at 7.28. Is trying to make this some kind of a <clears throat> a magnet line and a support line. So here's my thinking. Why don't you start your position here? Say, oh man, I'm, I'm buying a leg D. D is where other things can happen. The stochastic isn't at 80 percent; it's 76 percent. So just get your foot in the door. This is unlike the Rocket Lab USA <clears throat> Inc. Uh, title. This had a rocket ship move back in uh, 2021 when it went from about nine all the way to the 21 area. <clears throat> so you're waiting and waiting. This is a build up. This is the firing line. It's got this is building up that rocket energy to go higher. Does it hit this level and then stall like it did before? <clears throat> That's 8.05. Well, 727 to 8.05. <clears throat> 
I'm anticipating a retest of that level within the next three, four weeks. So why don't you start your position? And maybe you've got three positions. A starter position here at 727 as it's coming off the intraday high of 753. That means it should be pulling back. The nine period moving average is at 6.73. The 14 period moving average is 6.57. I'm thinking less. I'm thinking 640s. So start your position. Have a lot of, you've had patience. You've studied this for a long time. I think your analysis is correct about leadership. Hold off. A stock that's trading in the sevens that should be a major player in the field, that's unusual. Uh, if it was 27, I'd say, yeah, that's okay. If it was 270, I'd say, this has got, this has got um, substance to it. It's been around for a while. It's built up a huge uh, capital company itself. This wants to go in the game. But don't get excited. Don't miss you know, 727 and maybe next week we'll I guess maybe on Thursday or Friday we're looking at the game. I am expecting a good pullback. If it has a big move to the upside, you can always add another little bit. Start your position. I'll be right back. Guys, up 181. SB's down negative six points. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening Call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Building wealth trading in the stock market seems impossible to most people. They think it's too volatile and risky. Most people aren't going to take the time to educate themselves on how to do it right. But you're not most people, are you? At TFNN, you'll get the guidance you need to refine your strategies and techniques to invest like a pro. Because you'll be a pro. All TFNN subscriptions, books, software, and courses are available at TFNN.com. And I'm even going to tell you how to get them for less. Use TFNN's Tiger Dollars and you'll get up to a 20% bonus on your purchase. And once you apply them to your account, Tiger Dollars are automatically used for all future or recurring charges. Tiger Dollars also never expire, are fully transferable, and are a great way to add savings to your newsletters or services. Become the investor you were born to be at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. This portion of the Tiger Technician's Hour is brought to you by Direction's Daily Leveraged and Inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. 
Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. So, I, I, I'm sure I mentioned it, but maybe I didn't. In the five-minute chart, we had a single leg. I did. I, I said a single leg A up, which could fail. And then the 10-minute chart, single leg A up, which is that Eiffel Tower pattern that goes straight up and straight down. Looks like the Eiffel Tower. And um, it's, it's really like an uppercase A. And look what we've done. We're just about to test the, the left side low. Oh, we just took it out. That's what I was going to say. It should take out. And I, this is what I've been talking about, and I'm, I'm preparing for this. Let me, go, I, I need to go through this again. So, all right, so we've done RKLB, which is Rocket Lab USA. Um, let's see the other questions that I had. I did that, did that, did that, did that. Oh, yes. So Nike, uh, Nikai, Nike, sorry, I, I keep doing that. Nikai is the Japanese uh, market, and Nike is, of course, something very different. Nike had <clears throat> a move to the upside, <clears throat> and I want you to demonstrate this. Now, it's funny that I just had that in the one-minute chart. Look, in the in the daily chart, one-minute E-mini, e December E-mini. Yes, it was a round number high, but I'm not going to take too much input into that right now, but it, it's fascinating it did. Thank you, Jimmy. Um, so, look, this peak, this bottom that was made, after the lowercase h pattern went to a lowercase m and then took out the left side low, had a big move, and then it closed a number of times over the arch high. So in other words, let me draw this in because it's patterns that I was talking about just a moment ago. Let's do it again. Yeah, there's one arch. There's, that's a lowercase h. Here's a lowercase m. And that m took out the left side low, but it closed above it, and it's been moving high, and then it closed above the high that was made in the 75s very strong. When I did this last week, I, no, last week, a couple of weeks ago, um, I said, I'm going to call this a phantom peak because it had a high of, on the 7th of August, after the low was made, of 74.21, and the very next session was 74.21, parallel highs. But if you look closely, you can see there's a little a little nick, a little, a little uh, zing in the on balance volume, I need one of the technicals, and it was also in the RSI, I need one of the technicals to confirm that that could have been a peak by one penny, and it wasn't. So just I put it in, and I left it, and then I forgot about it. Um, in fact, I didn't have this arrow. I had a plus sign on it. I always put it, I always say, you want in the Chapman Wave methodology to be as accurate for the next move as possible. Therefore, you can. You have to go back and correct any errors because you're – you're on a flight path that says it survived this thus far. Check what went, what notation needed to change or was exactly the same. Just you want everything correct because the next path has to be um, accommodated by the actions, the previous actions. So then it became a peak B, a little bit of a, a dip that made a peak. Then one penny higher than B starts your leg C, then a dip. And then it went to, and I call this a D, and normally what I do when I have that, I just for the moment, I put a question mark. I took that away from last night when I was looking at it. And then I said, oh, look at that move down. The nine period moving average went negative. This is now a sell signal that actually got upgraded um, last week before I even looked at it to a sell mode. That's the daily. The weekly chart is still in a sell, a sell mode. This is, look, the 9 period moving average can't get positive. It's very weak. And it hit the 200 period moving average in the monthly chart with a little double bottom at uh, 71.06. and Oh, 70 point, sorry, 70.91 and 70.75. So it took it out. That's your, this is not an A because it has to make a trough before you can start the wave count. So now I just wanted to show you, it came to my mind as I was looking at that phantom peak that I just used this morning successfully for the one-minute chart, uh, and now I'm saying to you, okay, where was it again? It's exactly the same as this. If I never had that, I would have gone peak A, peak B, peak C, 
and I'm waiting and I'm waiting and I'm waiting and it goes to sell mode and I'm only at C. This way, everything was ready. I should have mentioned this. I think I did last week, but I didn't put the down arrow. All right, corrections. Um, next thing I want to look at was, yeah, isn't this fascinating? Look, WBA. This is Walgreen Boots Alliance, Inc. I mean, the drug, surely the properties they have, I, I meant to check and see if they buy there or they rent their properties. This was at 97 back in 2015. And all is done, year in and year out, has gone to lower highs and lower um, lows, except for this one big bounce in 2018. I remember it well. We had someone in the den who was actually long and did very nicely with it. I can't remember now if it got out, though, in time, but it did really very nicely. And it keeps fading, and it keeps fading. Uh, I mean, they've got Boots Alliance. And look at this, CVS. They're all in trouble. I mean, if you go to a, one of these and you're waiting for any medication or anything like that, whew, hey, that's tough stuff. They're having a difficult, difficult time. Look at the beautiful double top in CVS from back in uh, June, July of 2015, way up in the 112-ish area, pulls back. And then what does it do? It makes almost an exact, I'll give you the exact figures. Look at this. And the uh, July of 2015, it goes to 113.65, tumbles down to the 50s. And goes right back in a beautiful cup formation, but it makes it, uh, it fails at the high, a little low. It went, it went to 111.25, two points lower. And, then it, and look at the technicals here, we're much weaker than they were over there. Comes tumbling down, and look what's happened. All right. So, um, and now it's got this inverted, this pyramid shape, and it says that uh, CVS, oh, it's already done that. Look at this. Um, so let's just go from this low right here to that high right there at peak D. There you are. At peak D. And then go to the right side and you see that it has come down. Yep, it's come down. Now what I normally do is in a pattern like this, I go to the top and if it looks like it, it's not going to work out, I say then go to the trough of the cup which would be this low right here. And you do the measured move for them that low right there. Is that correct? No, I think I've just moved a little too far to the right. That no, perfect. Okay. And then what I do is I just go click and it copies and pastes. And what does it do? It gives me in pink. And it says by this month, the month of September, there's a good chance it's going to test the low of 5272 that was made uh, in May, um, in this pyramid or arch formation, and we're going to watch it closely because it's acting even today. It's only have nine cents. It's really struggling. So I'm watching this because there's a chance that if oh, I want to see what happens without having any presuppositions, I'm saying what happens next because this could have been the low, maybe. In fact, I'll just do that to be a little conservative right now. So maybe it's already touched, almost touched the exact low. What happens next? Why? Because if CBS Health Accord, which is really pharmacists, etc., is able to hold this by the end of September, not, that's another two weeks, not taking out the left side loan, the 52 area, but in fact is closer to, uh, so 58, closer to the 63 level, That'll be the first time that you're looking at some sign of strength in a, in a cross current in the market. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the US futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com.
The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. As I, I, there's a, a statement here, the problem with Phantom Peaks is there's no clear definition on how to market. This is a critical issue using the chat wave. Um, no, not at all. In fact, it's a really, as I said, you know, almost all the techniques that I've developed uh, They've been expensive for propositions to to because I do it empirically because uh, if you do it theoretically, uh, I, I like to do it live. That's why even all, all the techniques that are practiced, I, I try my best to, to do them live because you, you, there's such a difference between paper trading and real trading. I mean, you can make up anything. In paper trading, you can slap on a, a position of uh, 300 contracts of the, uh, of the S&P of futures. Uh, you're not going to do that in real life unless you're amazingly confident about something. But no, I, I the reason why I've, I developed it was, and I use it specifically in the futures because they trade in quarter point increments or ten cent increments, not pennies. When I use it with pennies, I have to. I have the criteria. I just explained to you. I have the criteria that I use. Um, and uh, now I have to go back to that one. What was it? Uh, that was wasn't that Nike? Yeah, Nike. Look, I had a little a little turn down in one of my technicals, and it says, okay, now you can do that. And it's only a guideline to say, be ready that when you get to that peak C, it, it could actually be a D. Therefore, you're going to be sitting there waiting at uh, 85 for a higher high. And here it is, it goes down to 76. This way, you, you at least have taken something off and you're ready. That's That's really the whole thing. 
So yeah, there is there are criteria that I that I try to see. I don't see them all the time because I mean I have to look at every chart to do that. And if I had a guideline that was automated, um, I just think it would give you too many false positives. It just uh, I, I like to do it visually. Okay. So with that said, um, now let's go back to what I wanted to do. Look, gold. Gold is trading down five. Uh, no, I didn't want to do it in the uh, one minute chart. I wanted to do it in the daily chart. Okay. Oh, ESZ. Don't forget your new contract. There it is. Okay. What I wanted to show you is this. If you look at gold, all these different divergences in the market are telling me that this move, this particular move right now, is much thinner than it was earlier on. And that's the reason why I'm anticipating, based on this cup and handle pattern that I call one of my least favorite, if you get it right, and I we could have got it right for the UDOW, and I added to the position back to the position to our long, already uh, trading position long. Um, right here, instead we did other things, which which is fine because I didn't want to, there's only so much money that we have, so that I wanted to be able to move it around. But right here on that move, I would have gone long again, added to the UDOW. Um, expecting that this cup and handle is going to go. And I put it, I, this is where, this is a technique that I also developed. You see, I've got a down arrow here to say that it's a sell signal, which I said to subscribers, let me just go back to the Dow, where I said to subscribers, that is a sell signal, not yet upgraded to a sell mode. Now what happens is you see that the green stayed green and now we've made a high high. This is where I go back and I say, I'm gonna take away for the moment that down arrow, I'm going to make it a plus sign, which I usually do at a D. And remember, we're using a phantom peak here. So technically, and this is the way I always do it, so I'm going to do it right now. I could move this D over to here and say, okay, we've got our D, because that was a phantom B, and this is an official D. That should have been then a C. And very often, the phantom peak does take you to the real D. And then you've got to start being prepared because that's where you, you get, especially in this pattern that I'm talking about, the cup and handle. And as I say, it's one of my least. If you get it perfectly, it's fine. It gives you a great trade. But invariably with the handle, the price goes higher. And then it comes back in to the handle or could come even deeper. It could take out the handle a lot. I, this is a, a work in progress. And I'm looking at this and I'm saying, this is the week where we're going to get as much information, regardless of Fed policy, whatever it is, from the charts themselves. Because look, the S&P has got the same pattern, this kind of cup, what's a V-shaped pattern, it's really a cup with a handle, and it hasn't yet taken out the left, left side highs, and the, the left side high of 5851.62, right here, peak C1, C2, there's another phantom peak, um, hasn't taken out the 5669.67. So you can see the technique that I've developed is giving us as much information as you could ever get based on just the price movement itself. So what I'm saying is you've got the S&P <clears throat> making those Groucho Marx eyebrows. That's usually where it says you could pull back, but if you pull back and then you hold well about a half or a third from the high, you can have a rally, and if that rally takes out decisively the left side double top highs, you can start calling that a new, and then that would become a new leg B. That would be really positive for the uh, weekly S&P. And we've got into the Chapman Wave inside track <clears throat> repellent zone. So I'm just saying, I'm, I'm kind of cautious. We didn't, we did add to a position that we had once before, uh, which, which didn't didn't work out, then it did work out, but now I'm, I want to go back in because it's in an area of security. I think it has more to the upside because I think it's going to become a little bit more favorite over the next few weeks, and then maybe it'll help this particular stock. But other than that, I'm, I'm being very cautious. I'm trying to keep the uh, cash position reasonably high, and at the same time, um, I'm trying to, whatever is working, I want to stay with it because what's working now is what you can hold <clears throat> because in this environment, it's telling you it, it's, it favors this particular environment. That's all. Okay.
XLF. Question about the, oh, oh, Alcoa. Let me go first to Alcoa. Alcoa is breaking out from the recent uh, trade band. It's gone above the 200 moving average. It's up to 58 at 35.10. I like that. And that is in a new leg C in the daily and a leg B in the weekly chart. Thank you, Jeff, again for pointing that out. Yes, it's acting very nicely. Alcoa, AA is the symbol. I'll be right back. That's up 174. SMB's up. The consistency you're looking for is closer than you think. One or two adjustments are usually all you need to change your equity curve from red to green and keep it there. Come join Larry Pesavento live to learn what separates the winners from the losers. Join Larry Pesavento on the second and fourth Friday of every month for three hours of live trading from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Time, where Larry will show you the market setting up and most important of all, the state of mind of a winning trader. By watching Larry trade, you'll learn the Fibonacci levels, you'll learn how to apply A to B to C to D trading patterns, you'll learn trade management, pattern recognition, and much more. Join Larry August 9th and 23rd for more live trading action. For this month only, use code LARRYOG24 at checkout to save $50 off your first month as a subscriber to Live Trading Fridays for his live trading sessions, where you'll sit right beside him as he trades the market live. For this month only, enter code LARRYOG24 and save $50 off your first month. For all the information and to reserve your spot today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks. Uh, the XLF, I was just about to this the S&P uh, Select Financial Spider Fund, Big D, the silent doji candle off of the doji D, which says just be careful, there could be a pullback in the is. Um, now it's trying to rally a little bit at up 34 cents at 44.85. Weekly chart says, hey, nothing wrong yet. It's just holding very nicely after peak D. can take a bit of a rest. And the monthly chart is in leg D. Now this is what we call a cup and ladle pattern, Chapman wave cup and ladle pattern, where <clears throat> it goes to a peak E, in this case pulls back sharply, goes to an A and then starts a brand new move to the upside and takes out that left side high that was made back in January of 2022 at 41.70 in leg B, pulls back, goes to C, and then it goes to a strong D. That's called the cup and ladle where it goes straight through the left side high. That is a powerful move. That's the best one. The cup and ladle, oh, not my favorite at all, only because you've got to get it exactly right. So, um, yes. So let me just do this. Uh, the VIX index pulling back. I just want to give you a wrap up 
before you uh, go to Steve Rhodes. Yeah, the VIX is up 97 at 17.53. It's on the 200 period moving average from this level. You can have bounces. If it goes back to the 15s, that is really bullish for the market. I think we're in a, just, we're in a phase right now that says just be a little careful. Um, so let me go back to this. Here's the cup and handle. We've gone above it, above the 41.585 high of 29th of August. So this is the move now that has an alternate count. And I'm watching it closely for two reasons. One is because of the, uh, uh, the um, alternate count. And the technicals aren't anywhere as strong as it was. So I'm suggesting that this is the period where we should start to see some choppiness. It's, a very, it's much more selective. You've got to be a little bit careful here. This is the week that I start looking at the short side. Will I be right? I don't know. We'll see. So meantime, we have long positions that are working well. But we'll see what happens next. Have a great day. If the, if the Dow can hold a 100-point gain into 3 o'clock, that'll be very good.